Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today's clip features Mark Stewart Sheehan, a 50 year karate master. And in this clip, he does something which is incredibly difficult to pull off. Now, if you look at this through Aikido eyes, um, this is definitely Kaitanagi-esque, shall we say. It's only a short clip, so watch through to the end. There's some very, very useful detail in here. As always, if you like what this channel's trying to do, please show some love. Feel free to comment, smash the like, subscribe, all that stuff, and thank you for watching. So initially, there's my bottom off balance, and I've struck off his throw there. There's just strikes there. You've got all the openings there, but you know, it gets carried around. And same with this left one, I want to tilt my head back so I'm in there. He, if, if he's there, hard for him to hit me with the cross, right? Because his body's there. If he throws that big cross, it's hard for him to throw, even when he throws the, if he throws a left hook, the right punch will always beat him. Um, same if he's throwing a kick. If I draw back like that, it draws him in, but as he lands, he's still strong. So I want to draw him in to, to make him try and hit me properly, and then just redirect. There we go. Okay. Now the second thing we want to do is, if he's uh, trying to hit me with that right, is the other thing I can do is actually just move my body there, but now you see my position here, it's very, very strong. Same, if he throws a jab and I come this, see, I'm that way. So it's what I call blind spot position. Now, uh, what we can do is if he throws like a jab cross, which is a common one too, I'm gonna come here, here. okay, now, uh, let's have a little play with this because we'll do it slowly. Draw in first and then to the side. With this one, hit. Four. And we've got our knee strikes. And depending on how he's standing. But from here we can just go into a forward roll. Yeah, so it's nice and gentle for our opponent, yeah? Come from this side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And roll. So you can control them down for self defense streak. We wouldn't do that, we'd be the. Come on. Get rid of it, right? Use the wall, use the car, whatever's the closest to it. Yep. See, I went the other way. Because he was expecting that he could hit me with the jab cross, he was ready for that. Exact same principle as he comes to jab. I've got to the side, I've got him off balance. It's important I get the head down because, like I said, the body goes where the head goes. Also, if he's up, as soon as somebody's up, they can see and they're going to fight back. As soon as you take a person's vision down and start turning them, it dis disorientates. They want to stand up quickly. Right? If I'm kneeing him here, he's going to want to stand up. <laughs> change it to a backwards right, work with them. So a lot of the principles I think are similar to, similar to the idea. Uh, but what let's do is slowly as a, as a group. One, get to the side. Two, I've hooked up. There, yeah, you can do your arm bars and wrist things, but we're going to do striking today. Bang, now if his leg was back further or he st st stepped forward on that one. No, that one. If he stepped forward like that, there's so many options. Of course we've got the groin kick, but if I'm scissoring this way, straight down to the floor here. And you all know different things from there. Okay? Uh, so so we're, gonna, we're gonna do this. Block, move to the side, knee strike, and then slowly go down to the floor so it's gentle and control the area. Whatever you want to do is a control, yeah? yeah. Okay, with a button, yeah? Okay.